Hello everyone. My name is Jerry from the National Fabry Disease Foundation. Thank you for taking a few minutes today to watch our video about the inheritance of Fabry disease. If your family has Fabry disease, please share this video widely with your immediate and extended family members. It is very important to understand who in your family could have Fabry disease. Fabry disease may affect people of all ethnic backgrounds. Fabry disease is an inherited disease. It is usually passed from parents to their children from one generation to the next. However, sometimes the occurrence of Fabry disease is a new case from a spontaneous gene mutation in a family with no prior history of the disease. If a person is not born with Fabry disease, they can never have it. To begin, the cells in our bodies each contain 23 pairs of chromosomes which are packages of genetic information. 22 of these pairs look the same in males and females. The 23rd pair, the sex chromosomes, differ between males and females. A male's pair of sex chromosomes in each cell consists of one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. A female's pair of sex chromosomes in each cell consists of two X chromosomes. Among the contents of the chromosomes are genes that determine a person's physical characteristics. Fabry disease is caused by a defect in a gene at a specific location on the X chromosome. Therefore, Fabry disease has an X-linked inheritance pattern that is different depending on whether the mother or the father passes Fabry disease on to their children. In the next two slides, an X with a plus sign next to it indicates a Fabry-affected chromosome. This slide shows how a male with Fabry disease passes it to his children. When a male has Fabry disease, his only X chromosome in a cell is affected. Since a male always passes an X chromosome to a daughter during conception, all daughters of affected males will have Fabry disease. Since a male always passes a Y chromosome to a son during conception, the son of an affected male cannot inherit Fabry disease from their father. This slide shows how a female with Fabry disease passes it to her children. When a female has Fabry disease, one of the female's two X chromosomes in each cell is affected and one is normal. Since a mother randomly passes one of her two X chromosomes to each of her children, she has a 50% chance of passing the affected X chromosome to each child, male or female. However, because the process is random, a female could pass Fabry disease to none of her children, to all of her children, or to any number of her children in between. There are some misconceptions about Fabry disease that warrant special mention. Fabry disease used to be described as an X-linked recessive disease, which means females carry the disease but do not have symptoms. There is a great amount of medical literature that dispels this historical misconception. Fabry disease should be described as following X-linked inheritance rather than X-linked recessive inheritance. A very high percentage of females with Fabry disease have Fabry signs and symptoms. The range of symptoms in females varies from seemingly no symptoms to the full range of symptoms experienced by males with classic Fabry disease. Females usually begin to experience symptoms at a young age, and according to data in the Fabry registry, about 20% of females with Fabry disease have major heart, kidney, and brain complications by their mid-40s. In conclusion, let's review the main points of this video about Fabry disease inheritance. A male with Fabry disease will pass the disease to all of his daughters and none of his sons. A female with Fabry disease will pass the disease to half of her children on average, but could pass it to none of her children, all of her children, or any number of her children in between. Females with Fabry disease are not just carriers of the disease, but have many signs and symptoms which are often as severe as a male with classic Fabry disease. For additional information or assistance, please contact me at any time at the contact information located on this slide 
or from our website at www.fabrydisease.org. Please share this video as widely as possible. Before signing off, we'd like to share with everyone that the National Fabry Disease Foundation is a nonprofit charitable organization that relies on the generous contributions of our supporters to implement critical disease education programs and to provide assistance to people with Fabry disease. If you would like to help us to ensure people with Fabry disease have a chance to live better and longer lives, please consider making a donation from the homepage of the National Fabry disease Foundation website. Thank you very much for your time. Goodbye and have a great day.